Hi, today I want to talk to you about when do the police actually begin a DWI investigation. Hi, my name is Larry Newman. My practice focuses on DWI defense up in the Finger Lakes region in New York State. Today I want to talk to you about when does the actual investigation, when do they say this is no longer a stop of a car for speeding or an equipment violation, when do they start and say, oh my God, I'm looking for a DWI? When do you become a suspect, basically? You become a DWI suspect, I think, three ways. Number one is if your driving is erratic, if you have an erratic driving pattern. And when I talk about erratic driving, I'm talking about lane control. If you can't stay in lane, you can't make turns that stay in a lane, that's a problem. Swerving, weaving, those are all issues with lane vigilance. And those issues, they're thinking right away, we have a DWI or we have a DWAI drugs here. Second reason. They stop the car, they come over to the car, they put the window goes down and they smell one of two things. They smell either alcohol or they smell pot. Very distinctive smells, very distinctive odors. If they smell that, they're immediately starting their DWI investigation. And, and lastly, if you make an admission, you admit to something. There's a direct admissions, you say, well, I just had five or six. Because they asked you, have you had anything to drink? Or have you had anything to smoke? or indirect, where are you coming from? I'm coming from this, this bar or these bars or this party. These are all things or ways, the three ways that they start thinking, the police start thinking, game on. Now I'm looking for a DWI. Now I'm looking for a DWAI. The minute they get you out of the car and they start proposing to two field side sobriety tests, they are looking at you for a DW. If you have questions about your DW upstate New York in the Finger Lakes region, you have to give me a call or you can send me an email. I'll be more than happy to discuss it with you. And thanks for watching this video.